Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome to the beach. You like this beach weather we're in? That's right. We're in hoodies at the beach. We're here in Rehoboth Bay, Delaware, and this is called the Sun Outdoors Rehoboth Bay. This place is pretty much empty. Like, well, we've had this place to ourselves. So this place has probably 200 RV sites, and there's been about six of us the entire week. But today is Friday, and we are finally getting some people here in this park. So you can see there's no one on our row, but there are campers coming in. We've been hanging out here for just a few days, resting and relaxing, because we had very, very adventurous back-to-back -back weeks. Our week in Williamsburg was packed, and so was our week in Washington, D.C. So we actually haven't done much here, except for go out to eat when we first got here. We've just been hanging out here at the RV park, enjoying this comfortable sunny beach weather. Now it does look pretty nice out, but it's about 60 right now. And we knew when we got here that we probably wouldn't go swimming, but we at least thought we might go to the beach and check it out. Today, we're gonna show you guys this RV park we've been staying at. The girls are actually right over there at the playground and we're gonna go check on them. But before we do, I'm gonna show you this side of the RV park. Let's look at where we parked this thing. So we have a standard back end side and there is the RV. Plenty of room to park right there, but they have assigned parking for each site. So our truck actually parks right there, giving us plenty of room for our side. The only thing that you have to worry about if you come here is this is one of those places that puts the pedestal at the rear of the trailer. So if you have a big rig, you need to make sure you have enough combinations of electrical cords, water lines, and sewer lines to make the connections because they're back here at the end of the site. We actually had to use two sewer tubes and we had to get a spare jumper out in our blue technology lines to make everything work. In front of our RV site is actually a bathhouse and laundry. Right here by our RV on this side of the campground is one of the pools. And this is more of the kid pool, but there it is right there. It's actually open. They have it locked right now because no one wants to swim, but it's actually a heated pool. It's 85 degrees. And if you want to swim, you just call the office and they'll come unlock it and they have a lifeguard on duty. So they have several things you can rent if you don't have an RV. You can actually rent these cabins right here and they have rental RVs set up ready to go. So if you don't have your own RV, you can come rent a cabin or you can stay in one of theirs. Over here is the premium back ends. You can see they come with the concrete pad and a set of outdoor chairs ready to go. Over here is these tents you can rent. And I know what you're thinking, like, well, I don't want to rent a tent. Well, these aren't just normal tents. These are basically cabins that are made out of tent. So there they are. There's the tents. And then across the street is more cabins that you can rent. Buddy's Dog Park. Right across the street is more cabin rentals, more tents, and another bathhouse, as well as where all the work campers are parking their RVs to work here. Also, there's a batting cage right there. It's the first time I've ever been to an RV park that has a batting cage. They have several things you can rent while you're here. They have kayak rentals, because we do have beach access, or it's bay access, but it's on the water and they have their own beach. You can rent golf carts. You can tell by how many there are there, by how out of season we are because there's not a single golf cart that is being rented right now. I'm sure they'd offer us a great price if we wanted to rent one. Now we're leaving our side of the RV park and we're heading to the main entrance and the other side of the RV park. So the RV park is kind of split in half with a bay in the middle. So here is the front entrance and this place really is a resort. This is Sun Outdoors Rehoboth Bay Beach Resort. Inside the main check-in area is an arcade. They have laundry, they have restrooms. They have a huge store that has all kinds of RV and beach related accessories. They have a cafe and I believe they have a snack bar that serves ice cream and treats. Most of it is open right now, but I believe the cafe and the treat bar has certain hours because we're out of season. They don't actually open full season until Memorial Day. All right, so we're heading to the other side of the park and this one's very similar to our side, except for it has the playground and it has a restaurant that's on a pier out here at the end. There is their bathhouse with laundry, which is right next to the pool, which is currently open. Even though it's 60 degrees out, there are plenty of people in there swimming right now. They also have more cabins to rent. You can see the place is pretty empty, but there's way more people here now than there were just two or three days ago. Here's the playground right here. Let's go check on the girls. Why, hello there. Shh. Sleeping baby. 
Actually, he's really out. He's not going to wake up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the playground. The beach playground. This is an awesome playground, by the way. I love that it's separated into two separate areas. I actually haven't showed them yet. Look, oh. this area, big kid area. And that area, kind of a little kid, but also has some big kid yeah, toys in it. Yeah, and it has the coolest little three, I don't know what you call that thing. Oh, I already know. You could probably get it's people like going a, pretty good on that it's thing. It's almost like a cool merry-go-round, like a new school merry-go-round. The girls love it. We've been here, what, I think four or five hours yesterday straight. <laughs> and today, I think we're going on our second hour. So who knows when we'll leave. So the playground is right here behind the front entrance. That's the building for the front entrance right there. The beautiful beach colored front entrance as Alicia likes to call them. What do you think about the beach in Delaware? As with everything lately, if we were in season, I think it would be a lot better, but you can look at him, how bundled up he is. It's a little chilly. You know, they say they open on Memorial Day, which is, Weeks. Today is May 5th, so Memorial Day is what? May 20 something? Three weeks away is when they open. But in three weeks, it's not going to get summertime. <laughs> no. And I was even looking up things to do in Delaware, and they were talking about all these beaches, and they have pictures. Almost everyone in the beach pictures has a hoodie on or has pants on. Like, no one was in swimsuit. So I don't know that I ever get swimsuit weather here in Delaware. We met some people that are from Boston, and they said, we may call it summer, but that water never gets warm. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're going to be freezing, I think, this whole trip. They keep telling us summer's coming, but I don't believe it. I actually love this. You know why? We have not really sweated yet. We oh, haven't gotten yeah. hot yet. That is true, but we also haven't gotten in a pool yet. We can go in this one. There's plenty of people there. I and know. it's 85 degrees. They say it's 85 degrees. I talked to the lifeguard yesterday. She said, wherever everyone is gathered up, that's where one of the water heaters are in the pool. She said, <laughs> as long as you stay on top of that, you'll be fine. But it's when you get above water and the wind hits you that you'll start freezing. I don't know that I'm getting in. You want to tell them what we paid for this place? So this place has a resort type breakdown during the week it's like 39 dollars a night but on like friday saturday sunday it's 109 a night here oh. so when you add it all up it seems expensive but if you stay the entire week we're paying 69 dollars a night average we talked to some people yesterday they check in or they checked in on a thursday and they're leaving on sunday and i think they're paying more for their three days than we paid for our entire stay it's because we get a discount because we stayed the seven days <laughs> so it's essentially we get one day free it's not really the most expensive day they give us free, but they did give us a day free. If I was coming here and I was paying 109 a night for a weekend, for this place, I think you're getting your money's worth. What do you think? Well, this goes back to our talk we had about American Heritage in Williamsburg. We paid $71 a night there. And I said, that doesn't feel like $71 a night. This is $109 a night place. Like in Florida, this is what you'd pay. This is not more expensive because it's up here. This is what Sun Outdoors does. Cause we did the same thing in St. Augustine, Florida. Right. The Sun Outdoors wasn't as expensive. Well, actually it was the same price. It was very expensive on the weekends. And we averaged about $65 a night for the whole stay. This is $69 a night average. And this is far better than the Williamsburg place because you could come here and just stay here. There was nothing to do with the Williamsburg place. It was just the price they were making you pay because you were in Williamsburg. Right. There's no reason to be here but to be at this resort <laughs> because there's nothing out like you have to drive like 25 minutes to get to the actual downtown city of Rehoboth Bay. We're not next to it. We're not paying to be close to something. We're paying because this is a resort. They expect you to come here and not leave here, I think, because with everything that they have here, you're paying for the experience of being in the resort. There's been a lot of comments about us saying this is the normal price for up here. Well, whenever we get to around $70 a night, this is what we're expecting. Right. Now, the Williamsburg place was nice, but that's not $70 a night nice because we were literally parking to go explore outside the park. There was nothing to keep us there. Like I said, we've been here three or four days. We haven't left yet. We've just been hanging out here. We haven't done any exploring or sightseeing just hung out the park. There's so much to do and the kids are loving it. They're playing with other kids. It's worth it. And you saw when I started the video, how big our space is between the camper and the truck. It's like 30 feet. Like we're not on top of each other. So whenever I say $70 is our break even point where we go above that is kind of resorty and it's a destination. Right. Below that is we're just trying to stay somewhere to go see what's outside the park. And the 70 is our average because like we said, we're paying $39 a night 
for some, for of, the some of the nights and 109 a night for some of the other nights so I don't think we'd ever pay 109 a night no. for seven nights if we can't get in the pool and do all the things because it's still a little cold here and that's another thing when you make these reservations and you do the days sometimes you can manipulate the days because they'll show you what each day costs and sometimes you can be like, oh, I should just change my dates by a few days and I'll reduce it by 109, maybe $218 for the stay because you chose not to catch two weekends. So we're walking up from the playground. There is the check-in area. And here, here's the pool. There's the poor lifeguard over there is wearing a jacket and a blanket. And it appears that the family that was there has gone home. Maybe it's not as warm as they make it out to be, but when we first came over here, there was about 15 people in there having a great time, but they were only, only neck up was in the water. Everything else was sitting on a heater somewhere. So that was the playground area. Now I'm gonna go show you the rest of this side of the RV park. So here is the restaurant that's out here on the pier. It's called Paradise Landing. And it's right here next to a cabana area and they have their own beach. The pier that goes out into the bay and that's Rehoboth Bay right there. There's the pier, there is the restaurant on the beach, and there is their little private beach area. All in all, this is a really, really nice RV park. Check out their private little beach area right here on the bay. This place is probably really popular and super packed come Memorial Day through probably Labor Day. All right, so I just walked on the beach and I just reminded myself the one thing I dislike about the beach. It's my truck at the beach. The entire floorboard is full of sand now. And I can only imagine how bad the back seat looks from the kids because the playground is a 100% sand. Like they have sand everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean the inside of this truck really good but I'm not doing it this week because next week we're going to the beach again and then we leave the beach for a little while. So after next week's stay, we'll do two weeks of cleaning out sand from inside this truck. So this side also has the waterfront side. So you can see over there, they have waterfront cabins and waterfront RV sites. And right there is their bathhouse and laundry station. All we've done here in Delaware so far is hang out at this RV park because it is, it is a destination place to come. It's a great place. But you know what? We're not gonna earn our sticker on the side of our RV if we don't leave the RV side. So tomorrow, we're taking you guys into Rehoboth Bay or Rehoboth Beach, whatever the town's called. And we're gonna go exploring and find something to do here while in Delaware. Bye y'all. Welcome back to our adventures here in Rehoboth Bay. I know we said we were going somewhere, but look at this weather. What a difference a day makes. It's not summertime yet, but it sure feels like it. And we decided instead of going adventuring, we're gonna enjoy the resort by going swimming. We are. So some people went swimming yesterday and they said the water was warm, they were never cold, and it was much, much colder yesterday. So I'm thinking today, that 85 degree pool water is gonna feel like some Texas pool water. Girls, are y'all ready to go in the pool? Yeah, baby. Oh yeah? I like this girl because she's oh. mermaid. <laughs> This might be his first time in the pool. We took him into the hot tub at the last place, but Caden, is it your first pool time adventure? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> you answered for him. That's so sweet. We're going to the pool. We may regret this. We're actually going to film us getting in to see if it really is warm or if we're about to freeze trying to do this. This place is popping. I know. <laughs> They're not afraid of a little cold water. <laughs> it's amazing what 24 hours were due. Yesterday, this place was a ghost town. When I, I came over here to film it, not a single person was here. Now look. It's so full. I'm glad though. The kids all have fun. There is a Marco Polo game going on and these kids have no idea what that's about, but they want to play it. What do you think, bud? <laughs> this was the best idea ever. I know, this is great. I was totally thinking that this was going to be not pleasant. This is the nicest, I mean it might as well be summertime. I know, this is great. The pool, the pool is nice and warm. May I mean, 6th, we're in the pool in Delaware. It's great that it's not uh, windy because it would be cold <laughs> if it was. Best idea ever to, to take another us day and yes. hang out. <laughs> we needed it after the Week in the Life series. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Washington DC was pretty hectic as well. Yes. So we're gonna hang out at the pool. Kaden, say hi. 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 <laughs> hi. Look at 
let her go. She's ready to swim too. You got it, girl. <laughs> Kayla looks like a diva. <laughs> Those goggles. <laughs> Are you a diva? No, you said no. <laughs> what a perfect day here at the RV park. So we went to the pool and we hung out all, hey buddy. Hey. We're here at the dog park. Buddy's having his afternoon session. So we went to the pool for about four hours today and it was a great time. The pool was the perfect temperature. The weather was perfect. And there was probably 30 or 40 kids in the pool. Our kids had an amazing day and it was just the day we needed. Like we wanted to go adventuring, but at the same time, we just felt like hanging out here and having a great day here at the park. Such a great day that it's 6.30 right now. We were gonna cook tonight, but we put that back in the fridge. All of our kids have been bathed and they are all asleep right now. Alicia is showering right now and I'm pretty sure she's going to sleep as soon as she gets out. And as soon as me and Buddy get done hanging out here at the dog park, we're gonna take a shower and we're gonna turn on some Netflix or something on the TV and we're probably gonna call it an early night. What a great day at the RV park. Now I promise, tomorrow, maybe, we're going out to go adventuring, maybe. Tomorrow is Sunday, and this park is not in season yet, but tomorrow the pool and everything will be open again, but they'll be closed on Monday. So maybe tomorrow we're hanging out here again, or maybe tomorrow we're going exploring. Either way, we'll see you guys in the morning. I know what it looks like. It looks like we're going swimming again. And uh, <laughs> we are. <laughs> are y'all ready to go yeah. swimming again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we got mermaids and Barbies. Is this better than going and exploring? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have some off look, days every look, now and then. It's not our fault. The pool is open today. It's not open tomorrow. We have to go today. Oh, is that what we're saying? And we're doing it for no, the girls. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. We're doing it for the kids. It's for the kids. For the kids, not for us at no, all. No, not at I all. Mean, I, I, it hurts me so that, bad to that, go swimming two days in a row. Swim up bar <laughs> isn't convenient at all, is it? <laughs> they also serve food there. Yes, and drinks. And yeah. drinks. Yeah. You gonna it's, get a Shirley it's, Temple? It's, a, it's it's the same one where we went to the restaurant. It's red. Oh, okay. It's strawberry red. We're going to the pool. We promise. We are gonna leave the RV part before we before we leave here. But we're going to the pool today. We'll see if that actually happens. I think we told y'all that yesterday too. Okay, look at Mama. One, two, three, 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 three. So today is Sunday. Hey and the park has cleaned out it's a ghost town but we still have plenty of people here at the pool there's plenty of kids to play with not as much as yesterday but we're still gonna have a great time on a relaxing sunday you ready yeah ashlyn are you ready yeah mom are you ready i'm ready feels like it's gonna be colder though today this wind feels chilly <laughs> <laughs> we said that yesterday and the water is actually really really nice but i would say today is gonna be definitely shoulders down shoulders down at all times who had a great time at the pool great. Me. I did 100, 100 what 100 at the pool because it's fun 100 what, at the pool because it's fun the pool. what about you mama it was awesome we closed it down is it 100 pools 100 stars so for the second day in a row i was the grand master of the ring toss game i only have these two right here to participate in my parenting but at one point i think i had 15 kids playing the ring toss game so we've decided we want to start a thing where me and phil come to the pool phil will sit in his chair and tell y'all stories and I will entertain the kids. What do y'all think about that? Lolo could be in charge of book club and naps. What She'll, are you gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch oh, babies. <laughs> I'm gonna watch babies. <laughs> Would you look at this? It's Monday, there's no one here, and we're actually leaving the RV park. Better late than never, huh? <laughs> so this is our last day here, and we decided we couldn't very well put the sticker on our map if we didn't at least leave the RV park one time and go adventuring. So where are we going? <laughs> we have no idea, but we're gonna go find something to do. We're gonna start by checking out the cute town of Rehoboth Beach, which Alicia says reminds her of HGTV homes. And then we're gonna go back to the boardwalk where we ate the first night and just check out the beach and what there is to do at the boardwalk. I figured since I saw all those cute little houses and all the great landscaping, I wanna show you guys. So we're gonna go back and film that real quick and then 
I guess we're boardwalking it. We are boardwalking it. We may touch the ocean to see how cold it is compared to this perfectly heated water here at the pools. <laughs> if the pools were open today, I'm pretty sure we would have went to the pool again and been like, Delaware was awesome. All we know about it is sun outdoors. Oh yeah, especially because today is like the first day we went to the pool. It's nice and sunny. It's warm out. People have on shorts in this car. It's amazing. So how did you guys enjoy Alicia's cute HGTV town? It was fun, wasn't it? Very pretty. <laughs> Do y'all even know what kind of homes those are called? I have no idea other than they're HGTV homes. I think they're either, I think they're called Victorian or maybe Colonial. I can't remember, but they're the cute houses with the little porches underneath them. I don't know. And vibrant colors. Yes, and pretty beach colors. We're here at the Rehoboth Beach downtown area. There is the main city square. These are all the shops. And over there is the boardwalk. We're gonna go check out the shops and the boardwalk and just explore. There's actually a lot of people on the beach in the ocean. So either they're from the north <laughs> or it's not that cold. Ready to go touch the sand? Yeah. Well, we're touching the sand. Are you ready to go touch the water? Yeah. Are we gonna see if it's cold? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they're scared of getting wet. All right, here comes a big one. This will be a good one. Come on. Come forward. Oh wait. Here. No, no, don't run. You can always run back if it starts coming forward. All right. <laughs> we may never touch the water. Come on, water, come closer. All right, maybe this is the one. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it got your feet. <laughs> Ashley, what happened? I got my feet wet. Yeah. You got your feet wet? Was yeah. the water cold? No. I don't think so. Well, the water get high up. I know, we left just in time. It came up high that time. So the beach was good. The girls said they wish they could have come and played on the beach here with their bathing suits on, but we were having too much fun at the pool. So we'll have to save this for a future trip. Are you gonna show daddy what you found? What'd y'all find? Oh man. We got a collection. You know why? It's because we're here before season, so there's been no one here to get them yet. <laughs> right? We actually found a really cool little uh, sand castle that was built with all of these big shells around it. Did you so touch the, the water? So they took one. We did. Ashlyn's foot got wet, though. She, uh, Is it cold? Did you stand in it? Yeah, I think so. There's not <laughs> a lot of people in it, though. I think there's a reason. It also reminds me of that other place where you never know where it's gonna break on the oh, land you mean uh beverly beach beverly beach yeah because like we were so far away thinking we were about to touch it we went and touched it and then the next one was like 20 feet behind is us is the sand like beverly beach where it's rocky or no it's it... super soft do you get florida vibes about this place like this right here reminds me of daytona beach yeah if i were to close your eyes and drop you off in delaware you would be convinced right you're in florida yeah if there was white beaches here, I would say yes, no. but it's not white beaches. So. Because when you get around the RV park, it's farms, it's big tall <laughs> trees, it's a little bit of swamp. Never would have thought Delaware would be so much like Florida. <laughs> the boardwalk is not as happening as it would be in five more days. So today is the 10th, I think. And this coming weekend, May 15th, is when all this opens. There's signs over saying, see you in May. May 15th through September 15th. That's when you either want to be here with crowds or you don't want to be here. So right now there's just people enjoying the, the beach and the boardwalk, but it's, see like all that? 
Those are all carnival games. Yeah. They're not open. Nothing's I, open on the boardwalk until this weekend. Got a lot here, so you there, could spend hours here just going through all the little shops and restaurants. There's also actually a ton of people here for a afternoon on a Monday. Oh yeah. So imagine it being peak time, summertime. Right. It's got to be crowded. Fun fact. You can park for free anywhere in this entire city until May 15th. <laughs> Starting May 15th through September 15th, you have to pay to park anywhere here. So here's the plus side for being early. We don't have to pay to park to come see this. Because I imagine when it's in season, you have to pay. Oh, yeah. Plus you're having to pay to be way, right. way far away. Right. There's going to be no parking, especially when you're driving a good old dually. Now for something that's in season year round. Since we are at the beach and it feels like we're in Florida, we might as well do the thing we always do when we're at the beach in Florida. We need to restock on Pepper Palace. So I'm gonna go inside and get our rations for the rest of our trip, because I'm not sure if they go that far north, but we're out of Pepper Palace. So. Pepper -pe -pe Palace, Pepper -pe -pe Palace, <laughs> Pepper -pe -pe Palace. If you didn't know, that's our theme song for them. We made up our own commercial. Even Pe the girls sing it. Pepper -pe -pe Palace. So what's the damage? We have nine bottles oh my. of pure enjoyment. Are we gonna get to see some? Any no, new, they, any... wrap, they wrap them up. Oh, any new one? Yes. I tried some barbecue sauce in there. I got one barbecue sauce flavor. Okay. I tried one. You should not try that one. No. Unless you want, I mean, my ears are still itching a little bit. <laughs> so I went below that. Oh, okay. But everything else is stuff we've had. I think I just snuck two in that are. Repeats. They're, no, they're up there. Oh, okay. Uh, above what oh, we were used to. Oh, okay. In case y'all don't know how we do this is they come wrapped up. You don't know what's in there. So the girls get to choose which one we have and we can't open the next one until we finish until the one that's one open. Done. We made it back from the downtown Rehoboth Beach area. It was a great day hanging out on the boardwalk. We did some shopping. We got the girls some more shoes for our upcoming beach adventures. And this week was just the week we needed. We did a lot of hanging out here at this amazing park in Sun Outdoors, Rehoboth Bay. This is a great park, and this is what we're talking about. When we get to $70 a night, this is what we're expecting. Now, I know we came a little early, but we had a great weekend here. Right now, we had the place to ourselves, which is awesome. But this is a great place, and this is what we really like. We like places like this because maybe we've been doing too much adventuring and it's time to take a break. And this is the perfect time to take a break here on the beach. Great RV park, great time here in Delaware. Even though we didn't get out much, we really enjoyed our time here. We got caught up and that's because coming up soon, we're gonna be hitting another place that's gonna have lots of adventures. But this week is just what we needed. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you in the next one.